Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look today at how to view some things differently inside of SketchUp. Specifically, how to uh, look through things. We're going to take a look at X-ray, back edges, and transparent materials. First, let's look at transparent materials. You can see in this building, we got a lot of glass. And each of those glass panels is filled with this transparent default material. It's kind of this cloudy sky material. And uh, you can see that that material is set to a 52% transparency. By having a transparent material, it just means I can see through it. So I can see the back side of this building. If I come in here to draw though, if I try to move over this point and click, you can see I'm actually just clicking on top of the material. I'm actually drawing on top of the glass and not able to snap through. That's an important distinction when I'm talking about seeing through materials. Transparent materials let you see through them but I can't actually interact with anything that's behind it. Uh, another thing to notice is if I do switch over to my monochrome view, you can see I can't see through those materials at all. They're all uh, solid, so I'm not going to be able to interact with anything that's behind it. Uh, a little different way to see through here is to use X-ray. If you click on X-ray, what SketchUp is going to do is turn everything transparent. Now it did not actually change the materials. This is still a solid red color, but I can see through and I can see the other sides of the building. And see, so right over here, I can look through this wall and I can actually see the geometry for that stairway through there. Another important distinction is when I turn on, I go to draw, I can actually snap to those points. So even right through that wall, I was able to can see to snap back to that stairway big difference here. Um, something else to note about x-rays, if I come here into my styles menu and I click edit, I can come to the uh, surfaces tab right here and I can actually change my transparency quality. So I can actually switch between faster and nicer. So this is exactly what it sounds like. Fast is going to give me a quicker render uh, able to move a little bit faster. So as I spin around here, you see there's little to no delay. Whereas if I put nicer, it's going to give me a little bit more opaque view. I can see a little bit more of what's going on, but it does slow down my animation just a little bit. So either way works. You can choose the one that works best for you based on your computer or what you want to see. But uh, you can actually modify that, the look of your x-ray. So again, this x-ray is going to allow me to actually snap through. If I go back to my normal view, so I'm going to go back to uh, turn x-ray off. All right, so here's my standard view. So I can't see through these walls right here because they're a solid color. But if I turn on show back edges, I get these dashed lines. This is kind of a hybrid between a standard view and an x-ray view. Nice thing is I have my full solid color. So I have my full solid white, solid red. Um, it's not washing it out like it would with a see-through color, but I can also see inside. I can also snap inside. So if I do click right here, it is actually snapping in the mouth just like it did with x-ray mode to that point on the stairway. So this is something you may want to use if for whatever reason it's really important that you see not transparent colors, but you do want to be able to snap into the model and see those lines on the inside. So there's three different options for you transparency, x-ray, and show back edges. Thank you.